Congress is discussing improving U.S. border security this week. Senate leaders expect to have a bipartisan border bill on the floor this week. The House is another question as House Republicans move ahead with the impeachment efforts against the U.S. Homeland Security Secretary. Meantime, Northern New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik and other House Republicans asking New York's governor to do more about illegal crossings. NBC 5's Tyler Bronski joins us live in the newsroom with the big takeaways. Tyler? House Congresswoman Stefanik, as well as other House Republicans, show their support for Texas as the fight over security at the border has only intensified with more than 300,000 illegal immigrants crossing over the southern border last month. Now, Congresswoman Stefanik is calling on New York Governor Kathy Hochul to join the other 25 governors in supporting Texas. She also says Hochul should take a similar measure to protect the northern border. Stefanik blames President Joe Biden for the open border issue, saying he's refused to act on the matter. This is a national crisis. Every single community has turned into a border community because of the open border policies of Joe Biden. Overwhelming our communities, bringing illicit fentanyl, increasing crime, and displacing American taxpayers. I believe that someday- Last week, New York Governor Kathy Hochul and eight other governors sent a letter to the White House and congressional leaders calling for $1.4 billion in aid to help with the crisis. She says those funds would provide support to federal agencies for additional personnel to increase border security, add staff to accelerate processing times and eligibility determinations, and increase removal proceedings for those ineligible to stay in the United States. Now, Democrats on the House Homeland Security Committee have argued there's no basis for an impeachment, saying that policy differences are not impeachable. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.